morning, Pastor Tyson here. Hope you're doing well and uh, having a great morning so far. You know, I wanted to share with you some thoughts that um, have uh, come to mind over this last month. And uh, in fact, uh, yesterday, our governor, Governor Hogan, signed an executive order requiring face masks in all uh, retail places of business and in public places. And and you ask yourself why? And uh, the answer is simple, uh, to try to protect yourself from um, receiving this virus or giving the virus to someone else if you are positive. And, you know, my question for you today is a spiritual one. What if we, as the children of God, protected ourselves from sin as diligently as we are trying to protect ourselves from this virus? You know, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians that we are to abstain from all appearance of evil. Uh, that's pretty clear to not even look like you're doing wrong. But then the Bible also says in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 27, it says that we're to neither give place to the devil. Don't allow the devil a foot in the door. You know, sin is a virus that is much more destructive uh, and lethal than even this COVID-19 virus. And uh, we need to protect ourselves from the virus of sin and the terrible effects of sin. You know, the Bible says that when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, when it's run its course, it bringeth forth death. You know, the Bible says the wages of sin is death. What is that? It is the result of sin. And so as you are going on your day-to-day -day task, we're washing our hands and we are putting on face masks and we're uh, washing surfaces more than ever. And uh, we certainly are trying to stay away from those that may be sick. Why? To try to keep the virus from spreading, from, to try to keep from getting the virus ourselves. And you know what? We need to apply spiritually the same principles in our own life. You know, the Bible says that if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's not talking about salvation. That is talking about restoring the fellowship with God because of the effects of sin. And so we need to wash our hands and wash our lives from the debilitating effects of sin. You know, we need to... We need to be careful about who we're around. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, uh, folks out there that will negatively influence you, and we need to be care very careful about that. You know, one of the I think uh, most encouraging portions of Scripture is this: Jonah chapter three, verse number one. God came to Jonah a second time. Why did God come to Jonah a second time? because he did not listen the first time. God called Jonah to go, to do what? To preach the gospel to the Ninevites. And he tried to run, try to run from the presence of God, try to run from the plan of God. And the good news is that you and I, we fall every day. You know, yesterday you said something you shouldn't have said. You did something you shouldn't have done. And the good news is the mercies of God are available and new every single morning. And so God is willing uh, to forgive us if we just come to him in repentance and say, Lord, I'm sorry for what I did. Please forgive me. And you know what God does? He cleanses us. And you know what? That's the same thing we're doing every day. We're going and washing our hands more than ever. We're, we're, we're putting on face masks and we're, we're careful about where we go. And we're very aware of our surroundings. We're trying to stay away from those that are sick. And you know what? Spiritually, spiritually we need to keep ourselves clean peter said be holy as i am holy we need to have a short account with sin we need to not hold grudges we need to not uh, play with fire if you will and we need to stay away from those negative influences and not give place to the devil because the devil wants to destroy our lives and i hope today uh, that we would um, be very aware of the debilitating virus of sin god bless you Hope you have a great day.